First thing first, we're gonna compress this. We are gonna compress this like crazy. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. Great, so I'm gonna make this fill up the entire screen. So scrolling up and down zooms horizontally and then holding control and scrolling zooms vertically. Uh, what I wanna do is I wanna actually get rid of this intro a little bit. And uh, so it'll snap, by default, it'll snap to all these little vertical lines. Hold shift and then you can precisely put it exactly where you want. And then grab the other end of this block and then hold shift and then I want you to just shrink it down like that. Okay, so there's gonna be a couple things of editing that we're gonna do later on. That's an easy one right there. Just clicking and dragging, very easy. So we're gonna go back to the start and listen again here and then we're gonna look at our compressor. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. Great. So what we're going to do, um, you'll notice that my input was 12 point, minus 12.9. Pretty good. And uh, the this is the input signal here that your compressor is hearing. And this is the, the signal that we hear. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. So you'll notice that this is quite a bit lower, right? This uh, This little bit here. The reason for that is the compressor hears things differently than us. It's all because of this RMS size right here. So I'm gonna just put this RMS size to zero because basically what it's doing, instead of detecting like every single moment like this, it's detecting a selection based on the RMS, which is the sampling size. So we want it to detect exactly what it's hearing at the exact sample time, okay? So it's really, it's not as complicated as I'm making it sound. It's really simple. Put it at zero, it'll detect exactly what you're here or what the signal that's coming through at that precise moment. Okay, does that make sense? Makes sense. So let's put that down to zero and now let's listen, look, look again. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. So you, Elijah could, oops, so you can see that those were responding almost exactly the same now because it's, it's hearing almost exactly the same thing. What we wanna do is now take down those peaks and you're gonna say, well, it's already quiet. Why are we taking down the peaks more? And the answer is because I told you to, okay? Do as I say. So what we're gonna do is grab the threshold and we're gonna bring it down because we know that right now, this is a good way of reading. We know that what the compressor is hearing is minus 12.9. So we're gonna grab it and put it to around there and which isn't gonna do much right now. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. So there you go. You n Nothing happened because first of all, it's basically just touching the threshold of the compressor, which means it's not gonna do anything. Secondly, is because we have no ratio set up. So basically what a ratio is, hey, that's my business card, look. So let's pretend my business card is one of our peaks, okay? This is the bottom of my peak, this is the top of my peak. What a ratio is gonna do is read this, and then based on the ratio, let's say this is the threshold, the bottom of my business card is the minus, right now it's at minus 12.5 decibels, okay? Let's say the peak is going up four decibels above that, which would make it minus 8.5 because it's subtracting, right? It's in the negative. So it's grabbing this four decibels right here and the ratio determines how much it's gonna turn that down. So if the ratio is two, it's gonna divide that in half, okay? So there we go. Now our peak is only gonna come up halfway because it's dividing that signal that's above the threshold by two in this case. So we're gonna put it to two right now. And remember, the, the peaks that we can see coming through our meter here are actually at 12.9, which means we're still not gonna get, like we might get like a 0.1 out of this, but I don't think so. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. So still, still nothing. So the reason of that is because we have the attack set to three milliseconds um, and uh, that means that the signal has to stay over the threshold three milliseconds, uh, which is really fast in a lot of cases. But we're gonna, well, I want to, I want you to see something happen because you guys are like, oh man, this guy's talking so much. Seriously, someone just like do something. So we're gonna turn the threshold down. Let's let's put like uh, what is it minus twelve point nine. Let's put it at minus twenty two, so that we have um, we can see what's happening. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna press play again. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. Wow, something happened. So, um, it only went down to a maximum of minus 3.3. This is not, um, 
this is all dependent on what kind of compressor you're using. They, they're all different, but the fundamentals are the same. So for voiceover, some good settings are, you don't want to take down all the, all the peaks. So you'll notice that at the start here, see this little, like the best, right? The, the has a nice, like punch to it. We don't want to get rid of those, especially for commercial audio. Um, you want to say, you want to have that little punch in all those little words because you want it to like punch people in the face with audio. So um, I want to make sure my attack is not too high. And we're going to put that up to, let's say, 20, 20 milliseconds. So let's take a listen again. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. So it worked a little bit. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. So you'll see that it went down quite a bit because now a lot of these peaks didn't make it through, didn't trigger the compressor because we moved the attack. So we can even bring it down a little more. And remember, we still got to bring it up. So um, basically all those like punchy things are going to stay there and it's going to sound great. So uh, we're going to put bring this compressor down to like minus 30 now. And let's listen to this. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. So look at that. We went down to minus five, which is a pretty good pretty compressed signal there. And this is only at ratio 2.1. If you wanted to make that more aggressive, you could turn the ratio up. So let's turn it to four. Let's turn it to four and see what happens. Okay, oops, not 54. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. So you'll hear that there's a lot of like punch still, but then all the rest is back and nice and compressed. It's very like, so it's a very aggressive sound, but a very controlled sound. Um, Let's, uh, let's put it to three. Let's put it in between this. I think that should be a good ratio for this kind of like punchy voice that we're going for. Um, a note on ratio is that if you use any ratio above 10, it's basically limiting the signal. The only difference with a limiter and a compressor is that a limiter has an attack of zero because it limits the signal. These little pokies are called transients. Okay, pokey, transient, pokey, transient. So, um... Let's, uh, now that we're like, okay, dude, we get it. We get that compressing is, is, you know, cool, but we want loud, right? And I know you do. So I'm going to bring this signal up. Our, our peaks or our compressor killed it by eight points minus 8.7. Let's get, let's bring this level up. Let's go bring it up. So we went down minus 8.7. We're going to bring it up 8.7. Let's take a listen now. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. Nice. We're already... That sounds really good already. It's going to sound better. Okay? Even better. I promise. So, that's cool. Uh, cool, Elijah Lucian. I feel like I should give you all my money. It just makes sense at this point. So, what we did is we raised the level um, from minus 12. We compressed it down um, another 8.7. So, that's like minus 20 right now. Um, and we brought it up another eight decibels. So we still have like that minus 12 decibels to work with, but you hear, um, you hear the difference between when we didn't compress it and we did, I'm going to play it with and without the effects. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. Much, much more present and in your face. And all we did was compress it down and bring those, bring that body, the body of the peaks back up. Because psychoacoustically, that, it like sucks you in. You know what I mean? And that's what compressors will do. Because it creates this unnatural sound that suddenly you need to pay attention to. You need to give all your money to that, to that dude that has that voice that keeps pushing at... Just kidding. 